Hey guys, it's Chris Bari, and today I'm doing a review of my Element Featherlight deck. Um, it's a pretty good deck, and uh, it, here's the graphic as you can see. But you can't really see it, but it's a lion. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a lion. And uh, it's a okay deck. I mean, it's not the best deck ever, but it's not the worst either. Um, pros, it's pretty strong. I mean, it's as strong as any other deck. It's not a weak deck, I put it like that. Um, it's got kind of good pop. I mean, it's not the best, but it's pretty good. Um, it lasted a while. It's a good, you know, it's a pretty good deck. But um, the cons are, one, it's very heavy. I'll talk about that later. Two, its shape is bad. You probably can't see it too well now. But if you look, the nose and the tail, this is the nose right here. The nose is about two times bigger than the tail. Here's another look. See, see how much bigger the nose is? And it's always been like that. That's not from where. I mean, yeah, it is a little bit, but it's always been like that. So it's not really a good shape. Um, but that's, I mean, it's not really a good shape, but it's, it's also as heavy. And uh, when I broke the board, I was counting the plies, and it has eight plies instead of seven. So that's why it feels a little heavier. So my theory is maybe they used a lighter wood, but they put an extra ply to maybe keep its strength. I don't know why they would put in a, an extra ply, but it made the deck heavier. But after a while, you get used to it. Um, that's pretty much it. It's, I mean, I would not recommend it. No, I wouldn't. Um, if you're looking at getting an Element Featherlight, I'd say no. Because they're heavy. The shape is bad. Shape is a lot in your, your um, comfort of skating, you know. You need a board that you feel comfortable with when you're skating. And this doesn't give it to you. I mean, it's okay, but it's not the best. So, yeah. I mean, it's heavy and it's got not good shape, so I wouldn't get it, no. I wouldn't recommend this to a friend, no. If you're looking at this, get another board. I mean, I'm not saying anything against Element because this is my only Element board I've ever had, and it's probably the only one I'll ever get unless they sponsor me, which I really wouldn't care for. <laughs> but, I mean, it was... It was satisfactory. There's definitely better decks out there, and there's definitely worse decks out there. So, if you find it on sale, maybe, like, for 20 bucks, yeah, get it. But if you're buying it full price for 60 bucks or even 40 bucks, I wouldn't buy it. So, uh, that's really it. Just, I wouldn't buy an Element Featherlight. Now, maybe other Element boards are good, but not a Featherlight. So, uh, oh yeah, another thing. One more thing. Uh, when I was going on the internet searching around they said that the feather light was made out of carbon fiber and wood I'm just gonna show you this is not carbon fiber as you can see it's strandy it's fiber e <laughs> it's kinda got fiber to it but it's not carbon fiber it's definitely wood and it smells like wood I mean I mean you know I don't know if anybody's ever smelled wood before but it's got that kind of musk smell to it. And that's what it smells like. But it's definitely not carbon fiber. And on the website, they tried to sell it as a carbon fiber deck. I didn't buy it from the website, but that's what they said. Which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Because I figured, oh, you know, a carbon fiber deck. It's going to be really light. And it's going to be really strong. Well, it's not. Um, and the name is so misleading. Feather light. You think you're getting a light board. It's not light. But uh, that's really it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope it's <laughs> uh, beneficial to you. I went by an, a Featherlight deck. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, comment, rate, uh, give me a thumbs up for the rating, and subscribe. See you guys later.